So with Palm Sunday, the church commences Holy Week, which is the holiest week of the entire year. It's the week where we commemorate and enter into and participate in Jesus' saving action, his passion, death, and resurrection, right? And we mark it with these distinct liturgies, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, the Easter Vigil, and of course, Easter Sunday. All of it is, is designed to liturgically symbolically, spiritually, mystically, bombard the senses to give us a way to access and enter into the saving events of Jesus all those thousands of years ago. So a lot of people have, um, over the years they've participated, I'm sure you watching this, I'm sure you've done at least one or two of those uh, Triduum liturgies, right? Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday. A lot of people are familiar with those, the foot washing on Holy Thursday, the veneration of the cross on Good Friday, the Easter Vigil and the Holy Night where Folks become Catholic, they get baptized, confirmed, the whole long, long liturgy. It's the liturgy of liturgies that starts with the bonfire outside, the procession with the Paschal candle. It is so, it is so beautiful. All of those are so beautiful. And I hope that you're able to come to all of them with us uh, here at Sacred Heart this year. But the one I want to talk about, a liturgy that's distinct from those three, that a lot of people maybe are still a little bit confused by, is a liturgy that happens on Wednesday evening called Tenebrae. What's Tenebrae? Well, Tenebrae, first of all, is a Latin word that means darkness or shadows. So the Tenebrae service dates back to at least a thousand years ago, where the church would celebrate, honestly, the heaviness, the heaviness, the sobriety, the intensity of what Jesus suffered and died for us. It's a liturgy that occurs in total darkness except for several candles. It's accompanied by readings of scripture and haunting chanting. It's designed to, in, to, to immerse the congregation in the sacrifice. That's what it's designed to do. And as the service goes along, after each reading, one of the candles just gets extinguished one by one. So it gets darker and darker and darker in the church until finally there's one candle that remains, it's the Christ candle. And then that candle gets extinguished, which is just so powerful. It's this deep symbolism of on the cross, God really died. God died on the cross. Whatever we can, be, whatever we can say about Jesus, we can say about God. Jesus was God, right? So on the cross, God died. It's such a bizarre thing to say. It's such a bizarre thing to enter into, which is why Tenebrae is so powerful. It leads us into the depths of the sorrow, into the depths of the mystery, the very thing that made, made the angels in heaven turn their faces away in horror. How can this be? How has that light been extinguished? He who is the light from light, I see, says, I am the light of the world. How can it be that that light was extinguished? But it was, it was, and we did it. And Tenebrae draws us into that. You know, the interesting thing about Tenebrae is that it doesn't end on a high note. There's no like, and then all the lights come on, <laughs> you know? Um, there's no, they lived happily ever after. It's like watching a movie, you see the beginning, you see the conflict, you see the, the hero's descent into the depths, but you don't see how it ends. That's purposeful, right? Tenebrae is inviting us to enter into the ache, to enter into the ache, to sit with the powerful reality that Jesus really did enter into death. He entered into the land of darkness and shadows because that's where we were. Humanity taken captive by the enemy, held in bondage by the prince of darkness. And Jesus goes into the heart of darkness. That's where he goes. There's a powerful moment that happens in the Tenebrae service. And me telling you about it still won't spoil it for you. There's a moment that after all the light is extinguished comes what's called the strepitus. It's this loud explosive noise when we were at the seminary, the strepidus was, uh, the music director took a huge drum and you, he banged on the drum out of nowhere. So like in the dead of silence, in the dead of the darkness, all of a sudden comes this huge banging noise. It's designed to symbolize the earthquake after the death of the Lord on the cross. Just the chaos of it all. It's gonna be intense. It's gonna be powerful. If you've never been to Tenebrae, I wanna invite you to come to Tenebrae. We got the information in the link below. 
that tells you what time it's going to be here celebrated at Sacred Heart. If you've never been, it's going to be powerful. 